The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick, and save. New every day. Buy Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. With three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors, find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Paying cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Bryant and Stratton College. Attention high school seniors. Visit the Preps Plus website to learn more about the $20,000 Academics Plus Scholarship. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. We're at Brookfield Academy, home of the Blue Knights, and this week, home of the Preps Plus. Hi and welcome, I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. We'll have plenty of great hoops highlights this evening, and we'll also be on the wrestling mat, the Bradley Center ice, and the local ski slopes as well. But we tip off tonight's episode with a young lady who certainly has her priorities in order. Here's Brad Preter with the Boston Store Featured Student Athlete. Alizé Blockton has a list of achievements and accolades that most players could only dream about. Alizé topped the 1,000 career point plateau in the first game of this her junior year. She averages nearly a double-double in points and rebounds, and she owns the Dominican record for most points in a game. These players come around once every 50 years. She's a prolific scorer, electrifying, and uh, she can put the ball in the hole. Lockton's skill level is such that in a drill that's one-on-one -on -one for her teammates, she has to go one-on-two -on just to be challenged. I take the most part in driving to the basket because I feel like I could take anybody off the dribble. So I really try to work hard and find a new dynamic way to get to the basket. While she's scoring more than 50% of her team's points on the season, Zaya is credited with sharing the ball and making her teammates better. She definitely pushes everybody to be so much better because of how she never stops and encourages everyone through her performance as well as her words and behaviors on the court. Alizea may be the star player on this team, but here at Dominican, she's much more than a basketball player. She's got a full list of priorities, including family, friends, and certainly schoolwork. Schoolwork is very important to me because my mom raised me to like get the best grades I can be, and she always gave me consequences if I didn't get a good grade and praise if I got a good grade. Alizea is very close with her mom, as well as her grandmother, shown standing in this photo, and her late great-grandmother, who also had a big influence on her life. I go to St. Benedict the more, and ever since I was like, been able to walk, my great-grandma always had got me into the church every first of the month on Sunday to feed the homeless and like, trying to like, give me a feel of how it is to not have really much, so I wouldn't take stuff for granted. That lesson was reinforced when Alizea and her family endured personal tragedy. I had a brother that passed away when he was seven from brain cancer, so he's like one of my biggest motivations to you know, keep grinding and keep pushing through anything that I can achieve anything and like the sky's the limit and never give up. An honor roll student every year at Dominican, Zaya has an impressive list of scholarship offers from big time programs. Academics will play a huge part in her decision because even though she'd like to keep playing hoops beyond college, Alizea says she's been inspired by the loss of her brother to go into medicine. Given the chance to play after college, I would definitely play, but I definitely want to be a surgeon. Like, that's really my biggest goal. In the meantime, Lockton will enjoy her time with her teammates and coaches. The feeling is mutual. She's just a joy to be around and call a teammate and a friend. She cares about other people cares about her teammates, she cares about uh, her teachers, adults, uh, she's got it all going for her. Aside from spending time with mom and grandma, Alizea enjoys movies and video games. Now Zay accepts her student athlete plaque courtesy of Boston Store. Alizea, <laughs> congratulations on being Prep Plus Student Athlete of the Week. Hi, I'm Joe Pascula of the Milwaukee Admirals. Lance and Mark will be right back. 
Replace your old windows with new Geldwin windows from Menards. This insulated single-hung vinyl replacement window installs quickly and easily, so you can replace your windows any time of the year. Right now, only $69. Add comfort with Mohawk Carpet. With a lifetime stain warranty, Kingsport Frise in three colors is $119 a square foot. Sweetwater Plush, also in three colors, is just $149 a square foot. Save big money at Menards. Nurses make a real difference in people's lives. Let Bryant and Stratton College make one in your life. Receive the personal career-focused education you need to earn your nursing degree in two years or less. Learn in industry current medical labs and get practical experience in an internship. Over 88% of our nursing students pass the NCLEX RN exam. Plus, you can start your nursing education as soon as next semester. So join the many Bryant and Stratton College nursing graduates working throughout Milwaukee. To get started, call or click today. Welcome back to Brookfield Academy on Preps Plus, the Journal Sentinels High School Sports Show. And Lance, once again, it's time for our hoops highlights. And this week we're going to start in the Midwest Classic and then jump to some City Conference girls action. Scott Babbler and Matt Queen have the Preps Plus highlights brought to you by Bryant Stratton College. Perfection. That sums up the season so far for Brookfield Academy in the Midwest Classic. They are 8-0, looking for win number nine tonight. Their opponent is Lake Country Lutheran, who comes in in third place, but they're red hot, winning five of their last six games. How ready were the Blue Knights for this one? Check out this performance in the pregame huddle. They came out on fire, making a big statement early. Nate Stolte with the pump fake and the drive. Brookfield scores the first nine. They close the first quarter in style as Joel Lemon drills this three. 16-5 Blue Knights. They keep it rolling in the second. Sean Clary hits from downtown. Then Stolte leads the break and finds James McMullen for the deuce. Finally, it's Stolte one more time with the nice dish to Clary for the bucket. BA up 48-19 at the half. The Lightning regroup and make things respectable the rest of the way. Here, C.J. Teske gets inside for two of his team high 18. But this was a night for the Blue Knights and their Blue fans to celebrate. Stolte drains this three to cap his game high 21 point effort as Brookfield Academy stays perfect in conference play. It's always nice to win conference. I mean, that's always a goal coming into the season. Um, Right now we're on a really nice stretch. We've got a couple of tough games coming up, so we've got to stay uh, level-headed and um, you know, keep our eye on the prize. Girls Hoops in the City Conference, a sellout as the Milwaukee School of Languages host King. The Lady Generals beat MSL in overtime in December, but the Hawks come in on a six-game winning streak. King, though, starts the game red hot. Alice Gilliam to Shaquilla Fowler, King out to a 14-4 lead. MSL gets going in the second quarter. Here's Tamia Stotts with the steal and the easy lay in coast to coast. They're down six at the break. King though makes another run to start the second half. Brooksy McWilliams stepping out to hit the long two. And then in transition, working nicely with Jasmine Hurd. Hurd drops the dime and McWilliams finishes. King up 14. In dire straits, MSL turns to their captain, Kayla Brewer. She battled through foul trouble all night long. There's a three, but MSL down 12th, going to the fourth. Jatavia Conley Kingsby from downtown. She led all scores with 18. King's lead is cut to two. Under two to go now. Fowler on the dribble drive. Great look to Destiny Tooks, and that does it. King wins 56-48. MSL drops to 5-3 and three in the league. The Lady Generals a perfect 8-0. We handled down the stretch relatively well, which is something that we don't always handle well. I was impressed with our girls' toughness and our girls' intensity down the stretch. Um, I thought they handled it well. Uh, something we've been practicing is that end of the game situation stuff, and they did a good job. It's tough to win close games. It really is. It's a mental thing, and once you get a couple, then it's a little bit easier down the road. Brookfield Central recently assumed the number one ranking in boys' state hoops. The Lancers put their unblemished record on the line in the Menards Game of the Week.
Brookfield Central hasn't slowed down since toppling then undefeated Germantown a couple of weeks ago. In their couple of games since then, the Lancers defeated their opponents by 28 and 26 points respectively. Now it's time for a rematch with Sussex Hamilton, a squad that gave the Lancers a tough game back in December. Hamilton fans were hoping their team would be the first to defeat Central all season. The Chargers looked supercharged early on. Check out where Brady Ellingson pulls up for this shot. Long three ball for Ellingson. His good friend Riley Lachance makes the tough off balance shot here. Closing seconds first quarter, Ellingson can't get the shot down, but Tommy Hickey is there to kiss it off the glass. Chargers lead 11 to eight after one. The Lancers have lots of playmakers, like Brad Newman, who hits Elijah Goodman in stride for the layup. Nice pass here by Dan Lanoa to Sam Olson, who drops it home. Hamilton up by five, timeout central. Clock winding down towards the half now. Riley Lachance shakes free and hits the three ball. Lancers down just two now at the break. They'll pull into the lead to open the third quarter when Brad Newman penetrates, scores, and draws the foul. The third quarter alone would have been worth the price of admission. Here's Brady Ellingson again connecting on a deep three. That tied the score at 29, but Caleb Mortag quickly unties it with a two-handed slam. Mitch Gesvain got hot for the Chargers. He is money on the three, much to the delight of the home crowd, which is thinking upset. Then it's Drew Patterson in transition, scooping it up and in. This game would be a thriller right down to the closing seconds. When it's tied at 48 and Hamilton holds for the last shot, Ellingson penetrates and dishes to Brett Beeler, but Lachance flies in for the block. We've got overtime. On Central's first possession of OT, Elijah Goodman on the block. Nice touch for the go-ahead, too. The Lancers will come up with a late steal and add a couple of free throws to seal it. They win 52-48 to improve to 15 and 0. You know, the one thing we didn't do real well for a while was play good half-court man-to-man defense, and then in the overtime when we needed it in the regulation, we had some nice turnovers there that we got, and I just, I just felt we were stronger at the end. That was a gut check is what it was. I mean, everything you did was, was gutsy. You know, our defensive intensity, especially in the first half, was there, and we uh, really grinded it out on offense and got good looks in the offense and just couldn't pull it out. Last week we featured Colton Sisters of the Milwaukee Admirals and the next day he was called up by the Nashville Predator. And Mark, it would be great if the next Admiral you're about to meet would have the same thing happen to him. Preps Plus will be right back after you follow us on Twitter. Good timing is a tricky business. A bell doesn't ring when the fruit is ripe. At Pick and Save, time equals freshness. You can taste it in the produce we source, the beef we grind fresh in our stores, and in the products we bake daily. Getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when selling your gold, silver, and diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds was secret shop by the media, and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell, and if we can't compete a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Bring your gold, I'll get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. Earn $20,000 towards your college tuition. Bryant and Stratton College will award five $20,000 Academics Plus scholarships to high school seniors who will attend Bryant and Stratton College. 
To fill out your Academics Plus scholarship application, please visit jsonline.com slash marketing slash preps plus and click on the Bryant and Stratton link at the bottom of the page. Apply today to take advantage of this great opportunity. Joe Piscula has played a lot of hockey in the great state of Wisconsin. The native of Anago, Wisconsin, joins us now as Pick and Save presents from preps to pros. Small town, um, but hockey was uh, fairly popular there. Um, that and football, and um, it was just a good experience. Joe Pascula is the only Wisconsin-born player on the Admirals roster. The club honored him recently by hosting Anago Night, an event that served as a fundraiser for youth hockey in Joe's hometown. We had like, I think over 200 people come down and uh, support Anago Youth Hockey and support me and the Admirals and it was a special event. If there was a challenge to overcome as a kid, it was getting people to notice Joe's skills on the ice up in the North Woods. It was a small town, it was hard to kind of get noticed, and I think I was very fortunate to have made it to the point where I am now. After winning a midget AAA national championship with Team Wisconsin, Pascula went on to play for the Badgers. He helped UW win the NCAA championship in 2006 at the Bradley Center. Everything in Wisconsin was just an unbelievable experience, but especially winning the, the national championship here in Milwaukee was pretty special. Joe's dad wasn't a hockey player, but he did offer his son some strong advice about playing sports. I was always told like by my dad just to, you have to work harder than the hardest worker, so basically you have to be the hardest worker, but it just puts it in perspective like there's other people out there working hard and you have to you have to push it to that next level if, uh, if you want to be great. At age 29, Joe is one of the older guys on the Admirals. Younger players will sometimes ask him about his NHL experience. He's had a few short stints up there and has every intention of making it back. I've been fortunate enough to have played 12 games now. Um, it's, it's just a, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. And um, being here in Milwaukee, just working at getting back there and hopefully staying there. Every once in a while we'll venture outside to cover a non-traditional sport like skiing. April Boblin bundled up and hit the slopes to bring us the Robert Hag Diamonds Team of the Week. Winter sports are at the top of everyone's mind with the Winter Olympics just around the corner. And like Ted Ligety, the McGonago ski team is looking to make it to state and then to bring home the gold. The guys have really a lot of potential to do well at state, same as girls, so I think we're just trying to be as best that we can be and, you know, make our coach proud. As a team, I'd really like to see us win state, hopefully consistent times and definitely no falls in state. McGuanago Skiing has been a very successful program, and they attribute a big part of that to their head coach, George Lumens. Coach George has been doing this. He's been actually coaching for 32 years. He's been at McGuanago since 1996, I believe, and he's just been able to handle it and be able to focus on the needs of both the girls and the boys and teach them as racers. The sense of a family bond is very strong in this community, especially since both the boys and girls teams practice and race together. Since we're out here every night, it's just like you become closer and closer with each member of the team, so it's just really fun. This team is awesome, really. It's been a lot of fun last year. I had a lot of fun too, and I didn't think it really could get even more fun, but it really has, I and mean, the girls are super close. We're all really close, it's fun, and then the guys are doing amazing too, and they're all good guys, so it's all fun. We started off the season with a team dinner. I mean, that's, I think that's pretty important to really get in in race and in practice together time, but I think it's really important to get group time outside of racing itself. They're always together and they always want to cheer everybody else on and the parents are very supportive, you know, not only financially but you know, making sure that their racer is 
doing what they need to do. Congratulations, Maguanagoski, for being this week's Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. One of the area's top-ranked wrestling teams takes the mat against a tough conference rival. That's up next on Preps Plus. I went to a community college uh, for about a year, and it didn't work with my schedule. I couldn't finish the program. Uh, I had a few friends that uh, said they loved their job as a paralegal, and at Brian Stratton College, had a wonderful program. It's changed everything. Career services at Brian Stratton um, really were invested in me as a person. They made sure that I graduated with a job. Now I have a future, financially and personally. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing. For every product, there's a window of opportunity. The right time to catch it, cut it, pick it, and bake it. At Pick and Save, that's why we continuously stock and prepare fresh foods in our stores daily, getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Yilbert here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Layton and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Imagine, you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments? The best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freighterd and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Add a touch of style and durability with IVC Vinyl Flooring from Menards. Logic Sheet Vinyl has a 10-year wear warranty. Available in Slate Mosaic or American Beach, right now just 79 cents a square foot. The Impact Collection in five colors is just 99 cents a square foot. Gain security and style with Schlag. This electronic keypad lock set features a convenient keyless entry system and light-up display for easy visibility. Just $109. Save big money at Menards. Did you know approximately half of youth pitchers report some level of elbow or shoulder pain at least once during the season? Joining us is Dr. William Roche, orthopedic surgeon, director of sports medicine at the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, and team physician for the Milwaukee Brewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. There are a lot of all-stars out there and want to be all-stars out there among the little leaguers. Tell us what are some of the biggest mistakes you see for kids who are throwing? Probably for the young kids, it's just throwing too much. Mm -hmm. uh, shoulder, elbow, we're never designed to throw baseballs the way we do today mm -hmm. and you can you can create overuse injuries so just backing off on the number of pitches they throw oftentimes takes care of the problem. Let's talk about treatment. What are some things they can do if they are injured? Well first off you stop the throwing and that doesn't mean stopping uh, baseball altogether but maybe going to first base or just swinging the bat. If that doesn't work then there's physical therapy to strengthen the shoulder and strengthen the elbow. Finally uh, you can do motion analysis to see what they're doing wrong or surgery if you can't make them better with those things. All right Dr. Rosh thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. All right, Mark, it's time to do some grappling. It's also time to check out a marquee matchup between two of the area's top-ranked wrestling team. Here it is, the Preps Plus Spotlight, but first, I challenge you to a game of ping pong. Oh, bring it on, Mr. Allen. Sometimes I serve it so hard, I break the ball. Look out, Stuart. Ah. <laughs> oh, I busted it. Look at that.
The Southern Lakes Conference features some of the best wrestling in the state, and tonight we have a matchup of the two best teams. Burlington comes in number seven in the state. They ride a 25 dual match winning streak in conference. Meanwhile, Elkhorn comes in at number 12 in Wisconsin, and they are tied for first in the conference. The Elks had this one circled from day one, and it showed. In the opening match, Connor Leahy with a takedown of Ben Travis in overtime to gain a hard-fought 4-2 win. That was followed up by Bryce Fitzgerald, who pinned Robbie Ellsbury late in the third period to give Elkhorn a quick 9-0 team lead. Our coaches pump us up a lot during their speeches. It just gets us all going. It's good to start off with a win. It gets the team going most of the meet, so it's good. At 126, Ryan Nelson kept that momentum going. He scores the pinfall on Josiah Kusick as the Elk lead goes to 15. But the Demons mount a rally led by Ben Hornicle. He pins Riley Remington shoulders to the mat to move to 26 and 1 as the Elk advantage is cut to a mere six points. Then the most exciting match of the night. The Elks' John Olson is up too late when Demon West Gavin scores a takedown to tie it up but Olsen recovers with a beautiful reversal to pull out a huge 9-7 victory. But just knowing you tied it up at the end, just, I just knew I had to stay calm and just do what I know, and just getting that reversal really, uh, really helped me get that victory. Another tight match followed as Walker DeMask and Isaiah Brenner were tied with eight seconds to go, but DeMask with an escape at the horn to add to the Elkhorn total. The match that wrapped it up for the Elks was at 195, as Dylan Linhart stayed in control in sudden death, riding out Chris Marks to give Elkhorn an insurmountable lead. The score was tied at 30 after all the matches, but with an 8-6 win advantage on the night, Elkhorn gets the dual victory as Burlington suffers their first conference loss since 2009. When we talked about wrestling Burlington tonight, it wasn't about uh, beating Burlington, it was about wrestling better than we did last time. I really, really believe in that, and I think our kids did that tonight. It's unbelievable. It just shows us that we're uh, here to stay and we're not to, we're not to be messed with. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Preps Plus. Till then, I'm Mark Stewart. And I'm Lance Allen. Thanks for watching the Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save, new every day. Buy Friedrich the Medical College of Wisconsin with three hospitals, over 25 locations and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds, paying cash for gold, silver and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Bryant and Stratton College. Attention high school seniors. Visit the Preps Plus website to learn more about the $20,000 Academics Plus Scholarship. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.